This incursion is the most noteworthy event that's happened here in years. I had high hopes for Amy. She was a rare find in West Harbor. A shame she failed to heed her first lesson. Always listen to Tarmas. You're leaving at a very inconvenient time. You've shown yourself to be the only apprentice with a lick of sense, and now you're off to the gods know where. Go if you must, but mysteries remain here that need to be answered. When I had made it clear to stay out of it, I am no doddering scholar in need of your amateurish attempts to help. The girl died a meaningless death. A needless sacrifice only helps your enemy. Learn this lesson, and you may avoid Amy's fate. Suffice it to say that I find the bustle of city life even less endearing than the mosquitoes here. And here I can work quietly, in exchange for teaching some mud farmer's child a bit of lore every now and again. There most certainly is. That man says decidedly too much. It's true that part of the reason I came to West Harbor is because of the war that was fought here. You've probably heard it mentioned from time to time. And no doubt you've also heard the same vague accounts I have, assuming you could pry even that from the other villagers. You really are a harbor man. People here possess the sort of subtlety commonly found in raging barbarian hordes. Ask something else. I have nothing more to say on this matter. The whole affair is quite mysterious, I'm afraid. Demons were involved, that much is certain. But, curiously enough, there are no clear answers to who fought whom and why. I think part of it is the remoteness of the location, yes? There were few battles in the war, and all of them were fought in the Mayor of Dead Men. An evil wizard was behind the whole thing. There were very few Neverwinter troops that actually saw any action, and none of them survived. And what would they say? I'm guessing that the harbormen are as much in the dark in this as the Neverwinter archivists are. The battle that was fought here didn't involve heralds and flowery declarations. It involved the wholesale slaughter of two forces, with your village in the middle. The entire village was nearly destroyed, and almost no one who stayed in West Harbor survived the night. You really are a harbor man. Ask something else. I have nothing more to say on this matter. Of course. In fact, I would prefer it. The swamp has many denizens, most dangerous, and all of them particularly irksome. But these new pests are not native. So it stands to reason they traveled through leagues of swamp trails and this odious smell to get here. Anyone that desperate has to have a good reason. So whatever you're carrying, guard it carefully. Anyone fool enough to go through that much effort to come here won't give up easily. I've already lost Amy to their determination. Dagon didn't tell me a thing, boy. But right after the attack, you dart off into the swamp, and now you're suddenly leaving. That speaks volumes. It's obvious you fetched something out there, and I'd bet gold that whatever those bladelings were searching for is in your pack at this very moment. But I don't want to know the details. Not to be overly dramatic, but I believe such knowledge could prove dangerous. Oh, very well. I suppose I could always use more coin.
This incursion is the most noteworthy event that's happened here in years. Do you think it's by choice? Having filthy beggar children tidying my place up with inept hands and clouded minds? I could hire a servant for that. But the village has expectations of a resident wizard. Responsibilities that cannot be shirked. So I teach them their letters so they can... Write dirty messages in the mud or some such rot, only to watch them throw it all away in a meaningless gesture of loyalty. Stupid girl! And that makes you a diamond in the muck. You've learned your letters, and even some of the art. As much as it pains me to lose the only other worthwhile mind in the village to some journey through the swamp, I think a far brighter future lies ahead of you than behind, yes? Just mind the lessons that I've taught you, and perhaps you'll avoid Amy's fate. Of course. In fact, I would prefer it. Oh, very well. I suppose I could always use more coin. to carry. 